more purple banditos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we began the World Championship. In today's episode, we are going to be taking on Yellow. So here we go. Rodri versus Yellow. And we are going to be making our way deeper and further into the tournament. And hopefully take on much and much tougher opponents than the first three we took on. As you can see, Yellow already has level 80 Pokemon. So it's going to be a little bit tougher. And by a little bit tougher, I mean a lot tougher tougher considering we were taking on level 60s in the first half of the tournament now we are going to be taking on much stronger pokemon and we will have to see how this goes i'm gonna go for the thunderbolt on the gyarados also i would like to give you guys a big thank you for all your comments and all your tips you guys have given me you guys are really awesome and make sure you guys give this video a like it really helps out the series and i really really appreciate it now let's go ahead and see what yellow is gonna throw out at us you know it's kind of cool that they added the world championship into this I was just thinking about this. It's not very often that you get to see all the trainers that you've previously battled or, you know, the big protagonists or people that were in the storyline that helped you out throughout your journey in one place. I think that's one of the things I always enjoyed about certain games. Like if you play through the black and white tournaments or all those sorts of things, I really enjoy when they bring back trainers that have affected the story or, you know, you kind of have some sort of attachment to them, some sort of emotional attachment to the character because you've been on your journey with them. They've helped you out. They're kind of like your friend. And I think it's really cool when you get the chance to go up against them again or just see them and just battle them and you know do all these sorts of crazy things against them i think that's really really cool and i really like the fact that light platinum did that i think this has been such a great game so far that it's been able to bring all these different regions together and i feel like it's brought a little bit of every region with it so it's not just, you know, packing all the Pokemon into it, but the fact that they brought in some characters, even created new characters, and just made it feel like such a well-put-together story that it honestly did feel like a real Pokemon game for it being a hack. And I've really, really enjoyed it. I hope if you guys played along with me that you've enjoyed it as much as I have, because honestly, it's been fantastic, and I've had such a pleasure to play it along with you guys it's been so much fun and i'm just excited you know to take on every single trainer that is left here in the world championship alongside you guys and hopefully end up as the world champion which would be a really great way to finish things off but let's go ahead and take on this agron then i'm feeling quite good here our team is actually really really strong i think the only one that hasn't gotten too much action yet is slow but you know what i'm sure slow will get some action once we get deeper in there so far we've only had to use a handful of our pokemon no we've actually used almost every single one except slow that much so i guess everyone has their own little part to do into it now this is actually pretty easy to take down yellow yellow isn't the most difficult of trainers i would say this still should be a pretty easy sweep for you if you have a Pokemon that's a little bit stronger. Or if you can just, you know, throw out whatever moves you need. Should be one of the easier ones to take on. Now, I'm actually not sure if Yellow and the opposite of Yellow, the other trainer, uh, swap in this round. I think that's definitely a possibility, as I mentioned to you. I think it depends on the way your first three rounds go or, I don't know, some sort of algorithm for who you battle in the coming up brackets. So, maybe you guys will have different trainers than me. But if you don't, it should be pretty easy for you to take down Yellow as I'm doing. You guys should probably beat him even faster than I do. With that, though, Pikachu is going to go down. Another thing that I've actually noticed from the comments that you guys have told me is that a lot of these trainers actually have very similar Pokemon. So you'll constantly be seeing a Pikachu and an Aggron. Those types of Pokemon are almost on all their team. I know, it's a little bit weird. I believe a Staraptor is actually on a couple of the teams. So a lot of these Pokemon get used multiple times by champions or strong Pokemon of the region. I guess you could say great minds think alike because a lot of these trainers are building very similar teams to each other, which is actually pretty cool. But with that though, we're gonna go ahead and take down the Staraptor and we are doing absolutely awesome right now. I'm actually really, really happy about the way this is going. So with that guys, we gained a bunch of XP and we have defeated Pokemon Trainer Yellow once again, I'm amazed by your power. We got 1,600 for winning, and it looks like we are moving on up, guys. Good luck in the next round, he says. We have advanced. Now, we are in the quarterfinals, and here's where it goes, guys. Next battle will be Rodri versus Red. Let the battle begin. Here we go, Rodri versus... 
Pokemon Trainer Red. Here we go, guys. We're going to be taking on one of the strongest trainers in any region, Pokemon Trainer Red. Let's go ahead and do this. I am actually surprised that we're bumping into Red here in the quarterfinals. This is actually really, really exciting. Red is one of my favorite trainers, and it's going to be great to take on such a legendary trainer in our road to the top. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we fight red here in the quarterfinals just for the fact that red is such a strong trainer i expected to see him in the semis but i guess that's how it's going to go so with that guys the bravey area has gone down i'm actually excited to see what type of pokemon also charizard is another one of those pokemon that a lot of these trainers have so heads up to you guys agron pikachu charizard i believe are very very common pokemon on these different teams and you know what's kind of surprising is the fact that we have a Charizard on our team as well so it just goes to show how much of a great trainer we actually are too you guys have helped me put together such an amazing strong team you know Roku versus Shocky, Grouchy, Slow and Fluffy and you know it's a, it's a really strong goofballish team I feel like every single one of our Pokemon has had a goofy moment from you know Roku losing the first couple battles and and making things difficult uh, to you know Grouchy not even being sure if we were going to have it in our team. And so far, our team has been so amazing. I'm actually happy about it. We've also had a lot of really great Pokemon that have helped us, like Loki, who's probably just chilling in the box. We have Goof in there. And, you know, it, it's really nice that we've actually had the chance to use so many different Pokemon on our team. And I'm actually really glad that we were able to build a much bigger team than I expected us to have. Next up is a Drapion. Now, this should actually be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and bring out... You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and actually bring out Slow for this. Let's bring out Slow against the Drapion. We might be able to actually take it down. Now, as I was saying, it, it's been really good. Oh, and then there's Whoops, by the way. I completely forgot about Whoops. Don't we always forget about Whoops? I feel like Whoops was one of those that helped us so much at the beginning of this adventure. And then we just kind of threw it back in the box. And we were like, all right, Whoops, you, you do your thing. You enjoy the time. Also, completely forgot that you can't really use psychic moves on Drapion. So that is a fun fact for you. Sometimes I have these moments where I uh, go a little bit blonde and I don't realize what we're doing. I feel like Slow's actually going to go down. So mother fudger, Drapion is such a freaking strong Pokemon that sometimes I just completely forget about it. So Slow is going to go down. Now that kind of sucks. Didn't want Slow going down that fast. I'm going to go ahead and bring out Fluffy then. And we should be looking good to finish things off around here. As I was saying, it's been really great. I'm glad we were able to catch all the legendaries. And you know what, guys? I know that we didn't have the chance to look back on all of them. But all the legendaries we catch and all the team members we add to our team, you know, they mean a lot to me. Just like you guys mean a lot to me. So... Even though there's more of you guys than there are Pokemon that we've caught in this adventure, you know, pick one out. They really do represent you guys, and it really does mean a lot to me that you guys leave me comments and that you help me out. You have no idea how cool it is to, to have friends like you guys who comment back and who give me tips and who get to play alongside me. It makes it so much more fun getting to play a game with friends you know when when you have a game that is you know one player it, it's so much more fun when you can play it alongside friends and you know they joke around with you when you're terrible and make really bad mistakes in the game but they give you props when you do something good and i feel like that's how it's been with you guys i, I love reading the comments and i love the goofball things that you guys give me no matter what it is i think it's fantastic and you know it makes it a lot more fun and enjoyable for me to play through a crazy game like this let me go ahead and actually oh wait you know what what i'm thinking here is the fact that we need to heal up some of our Pokemon before we go into the semifinals. We have Slow, who's a little bit uh, low. Slow is low. We have Fluffy low. So I'm probably going to do that right now since we do have Roku, who can probably tank out a lot of these hits. Now, I suggest that you guys really do heal up your Pokemon in battles when you have the chance. Because once we get deeper and deeper into it, it's only going to get tougher and tougher, guys. I think that you should definitely, in the quarterfinals, heal up your Pokemon to prepare for the semifinals and the finals. And just make sure that your Pokemon are healthy and healed up, especially if yours aren't at the highest level possible like mine are. As you can see, here in the quarterfinals, the Pokemon are level 85. But I do believe that once we get to the semifinals, they will be level 90. And then once we get to the final, they will be level 100. So going from the semifinal to the final, there's a very, very, very big 
gap jump. So just be prepared for that. Also, make sure you guys leave me some comments on what's coming up. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have been awesome so far. Leave me some comments on the semifinal. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It's much appreciated. It really helps out the series. With that, though, our Pokemon are healed up and looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and use Fire Blow. That should take down the Lucario, and that will allow us to move on to the fem semifinals. Wow, that extreme speed did a ton. You know what? I'm going to go for the Fire Blow. That should take down the Lucario, as I mentioned. So once again, thank you guys so much for everything. Next time, we'll continue on to the semifinals and the finals. Next up is the finale. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.